Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make tote bag with my clam cord. This time I am using 6mm Monami Studio cord. You can get the cord in this eShop. Uh, I am using uh, color number 46. It's mustard color. Really beautiful and bright. So let's start with the pattern. Oh, oh what is more, I am using 8 millimeters hook. So firstly, make a knot like this on your finger and pull it through, just like this. So round one, now chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have a chain of twenty. This is round one. Now around two, you will start working in a round to this way. So firstly, chain one, chain one, miss one stitch and make two single crochet in this stitch. So chain one, miss the one stitch and two single crochet right here. like this and one more single crochet to the same stitch just like this now make 18 single crochet to this side to the next stitch one three and four it looks like this so continue till you make 18 single crochet I made 18 single crochet and we are at the very end of the chain now to the next stitch make two single crochet in one stitch so to the next one just like this one single crochet and second single crochet now turn the chain so now make two single crochet to the other side of the chain so you can see this is the this chain belongs to this loop, this to this one, this to this one, to, so to this one, make two single crochet. One single crochet and in the same loop two single crochet. Now continue making 18 single crochet. Uh, just to note, this is the end of the cord and I'm working crocheting it together together so it would be invisible so 18 single crochet one this is the end of the cord in the middle of the stitch two three four so far it looks like this and continue till you make 18 single crochet. So I just made 18 single crochet. This is the bottom of the tote bag and the last step, two single crochet and one stitch. One and two. So 
this is the end of round two. By the way, if you want to get the written pattern of this tone bag, you can also get it on this website and just click on crochet patterns. Now round three. As you can see at the end of each round, there is no joining stitch. In this round, we will start working to the loop that is behind the work. I'll show you. This is the one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So all the round, we will be working in this loop. It can be a bit hard, but you will make it. So do not make it very tight, so that you could work to the back loop. So let's start by making two single crochet and one stitch. So this is the next loop I am working with and I will take the loop that is behind just like this. So two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second one and to the next one also two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second and so far my work looks like this now con let's continue making 18 single crochet these stitches are also made to the back of the loop one to the back two looks like this you can see this is the stitch looks like a braid it's beautiful so continue till you make 18 single crochet working only in the back loop so I made 18 single crochet and the bottom of the tote bag so far looks like this now we will make two single crochet in one stitch and we will repeat this four times one two three four also working only to the back loop these are the main two loops and the one behind we will be working with so two single crochet in one loop the first one and the second one repeat this four times the first one and the second The first one and the second one and the last time to the back loop the first one and the second one so far it looks like this now let's make 18 single crochet also in the back loop one two three four so continue till you make 18 single crochet I made 18 single crochet and to continue round 3 we will have to make 2 single crochet in one stitch and we will have to repeat this 2 times also in the back loop the first one and the second one and to the next stitch also the same the first one and the second one so this is the end of round three and this is how the work looks like now round four 
Once again, I will mention that there is no joining stitch at the end of each round. So this is the next stitch we will be working with and in round four we will work in simple single crochet. So we will work through two loops. So firstly make two single crochet in one stitch to this one, two single crochet. The first one to the same stitch. The second one now to the next stitch, one single crochet. And to the next stitch again, two single crochet in one stitch. The first one and the second one. So far it looks like this. And now continue making 18 single crochet. Work through two loops as simple single crochet. So the first one, two, the second one, now three and four and continue to make 18 single crochet. I just made 18 single crochet. So far it looks like this. Now make two single crochet in one stitch. The first one, the second one to the same stitch. Now one single crochet and again two single crochet in one stitch. The first one and the second one. Now let's repeat the same. Two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch. So two single crochet in one stitch. Now one single crochet and again two single crochet and one stitch like this. Now let's make 18 single crochet two loops, one, two, three, and continue till you make 18 single crochet. I just made 18 single crochet and at the end of round four we will make two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet and again two single crochet in one stitch. So now two single crochet in one stitch, the first one and the second one, then one single crochet and now again two single crochet in one stitch, the first one and the second one. And this is the end of round four and so far it looks like this. This is the bottom of the tote bag. Now we will be working on the sides of the tote bag. At the end of this round, you should have 60 stitches. All the way, 60 stitches. And now round five. Now we will work in single crochet all the round. This round we will be working with the loop that is in the back. Just like this. With the loop that is in the back. Just like this. So far it looks like this. So work in single crochet with a loop in the back all the round. I'm at the very end of round five. Couple more stitches left. And you can see where the round ends is where the stitches changes as there is one round and 
with a stitch that is in the back and one round uh, with a regular simple 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 single crochet so i just finished round five and so far it looks like this also at the end of this round you should have 60 stitches now round six in this round we will be working in simple single crochet so through two loops just like this simple single crochet looks like this so repeat the same all the round I just finished round six and my tote bag so far looks like this it is still flat but soon it will get up just like this so uh, at this round you should also at the end of this round you should also have 60 stitches and now uh, round seven round seven we will repeat the same as in round five working in single crochet only in the back loop then round eight we will repeat the same as round six working simple single crochet through two loops so uh, till round 25 including round 25 you will have to repeat round five working in the back loop and round six working through two top loops simple single crochet so one by one repeat round five round six round five round six round five five round six working loop by stitch by stitch and you can see this is going to be the back of the tote bag you will end the round uh, where the stitch changes so around seven working in the back of the loop the same as round five just like this in the back of the loop just like this so repeat the same round five and round six one by one till round 25 including round 25 so i just finished round 25 and this is how my tote bag looks like this is the end of the tote bag the bad side is this is where the two stitches changes the last round round 25 was working in a single crochet only in the back loop only in the loop that it is inside and from the front the tone back looks like this so 25 rows in total and now we'll start working on the round with the handles and this is how the tote bag looks when it's standing so only the handles left to do now round 26 before making round 26 you should have 60 stitches all the way if you have one uh, stitch less or more no worries your tote bag will come up fine just make one stitch more or less at the very end so let's start making um, the round with the handles so this is where i ended round 25 and now round 26 we will work in simple single crochet through two top loops and we will make eight single crochet one two 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is where we're gonna start making the handle. We will make the handle with the I cord stitch. So how to start making I cord stitch? How I am starting to make. So put the hook through like making single crochet. Just leave this one on the hook. Now do the same for the to the next stitch just like this. So you have three loops on the hook. So you have three loops on the hook. Now we will start making the I cord stitch. Drop the third and the second loops, just keep them and now chain one with this one, just like this. Now take the second loop on the hook and chain one. Now take the third loop on the hook and chain one. So far it looks like this. Now we will repeat the same. Drop the third and the second loops and chain one with the first loop. Take the second loop on the hook and chain one. Now take the third loop on the hook and chain one. So this is how it looks like. Now again drop the third and the second loops and chain one. Take the second loop, chain one. Take the third loop and chain one. And as you can see the I core stitch is coming and the, the handle is coming like a, to a circle. So repeat the same all, uh, all the time. Drop two loops, chain one, take the second loop, chain one, take the third loop, chain one. So repeat the same in rows one, two. So uh, repeat this 18 times in total. Yes, we already made three times, so repeat this 18 times in total. If you want the, to, the handle to be longer, make more rows of these I cord stitches. If you want to be shorter, make less. But I'm making uh, 18 rows in total. So I will meet you when I will make 18 rows of the I cord stitch. So I just made 18 I cord stitches. It looks like this. So this is the handle. And now miss 13 stitches. This is the last stitch we this is the last stitch we worked on and now miss 13 stitches. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. So this is the 14th stitch. Now how we will end this with the I cord. Make like single crochet, pull it through like this and now pull it through all three loops. Just like this. So you have two loops left on the hook. Now to the next stitch, pull it through and pull it through all three loops again. Just like this. And you have only one loop on the hook. So this is how you ended the handle. And now we will work in single crochet. So make 14 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13 and 14. And now we will make the second handle. We will repeat the same as we did before. To the next stitch, pull it like this and leave the loop on the hook. To the next stitch, just like this. So you have three loops on the hook. Now drop the third and the second loops and chain one. Take the second loop, chain one, and take the third loop and chain one. Now again you have three loops on the hook. Drop the third and the second and chain one. Take the second loop, chain one, take the third loop and chain one. So repeat the same till you make 18 rows of I chord stitch. So I just made the handle with 18 rows of I chord stitch. Now let's count 13 stitches to make the loop for the handle. This is the last stitch I was working on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the next one is the 14. So I have three loops on the hook. Put, put through the yarn through, pull it through. And now, like single crochet, just pull it through three loops. Now you have two loops on the hook. Do the same to the next stitch. Pull it through and pull it through all three loops. Just like this. And the I chord stitch is done. Now continue in single crochet till the end of the round. One. Two, three, and four. And this is the end of the tool bag. Now, fast enough, I'm doing just like this. I will cut the cord and hide it somewhere between inside of the tool bag. And congratulations, your tool bag is done. This is still the cord that I have to work on to finish it, but it looks great. I hope you liked the video, the pattern, the instructions. And this tote bag is made with the 6 millimeters cord. You can get the cord right here on my website. Um, this is the color number 46 mustard color and all the information about the pattern, the written pattern, you can also find below the video. And I hope to see you in the next videos. What is more, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to get updates when the newest videos you can also check my instagram for the daily updates and thank you for watching